It's a constant stream of activity at Pike Place Market as never ending crowds of people stream through. It's like a park, you know, and now they put the flowers in. Now, a moment to stop. Listen to the sounds of the city. Of course, my favorite part is the music. And even take a picture. My daughters, we were walking up and there's people everywhere. And she's like, wait, let's go in the middle of the street. And it was absolutely perfect, so couldn't be better. Locals, tourists, and especially the pigeons are enjoying Pike Street in a new way. Planters, placed last week in the middle of the road between 1st and 2nd Avenues, has closed the area to cars. It's a totally different environment where there's no cars, because uh, exactly you can sit and you can chill, you can relax, and you don't have to worry about the kids. The city of Seattle says the closure is part of its downtown activation plan to create a space for people. The street was previously closed to remove cherry trees that were past their lifespan. I was sad that the cherry trees were gone, but I think they're going to put some more in. But I think this looks great and people have fun feeding the pigeons. Estot says it will plant eight new cherry trees and install more planters in the fall. Ricky Dongarg and his family are visiting from Denmark. Yeah, we have a lot of walking streets. Yeah, he would like to see even this. more open walking spaces in Seattle. There's so many people walking. Uh, you should close the street for cars. What, why are the cars doing there anyway? And one thing is certain. We'll be seeing even more pictures of this iconic Seattle sign. And this is just the first step for this street with plans to add pop-up food vendors, more buskers, as well as potentially to extend Pike Place Market to this area. Live here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.